September's issue of Money Magazine compares more than 700 American cities with populations of 50 to 300,000 people to rank the nation's best small cities. The magazine judges communities on criteria ranging from affordable housing and commute times to safety and job growth. Broken Arrow, Edmond, Moore and Norman all made the top 100. Two of Oklahoma's smaller cities, Pryor and Ardmore, are often at or near the top of the list when other media outlets crunch numbers to find the nation's most affordable places to live. A lot goes into figuring a community's cost of living. Everything from the price of fresh produce, bread and frozen dinners, to how much housing, mortgage rates, a gallon of gas, car repairs. Welcome to the grill, how are you? Or Good. a meal in a restaurant would cost. We have a, a Southwest Turkey Burger on the board today. To determine cost of living rankings, about 8,000 cities across the U.S. participate in quarterly price surveys. I'm actually looking for a price of a specific item. They will say on here, uh, like for example, iceberg lettuce, the head has to be approximately one to one quarter pound size, so I go and have to specifically find that one and then put that price down. Leslie Linney does the comparison shopping for the Ardmore Chamber of Commerce. It's your basic necessities, your essentials. There's the milk, the eggs, bananas, anything you can think of that would be on your essential list that you go to the store and get every time you go. Ardmore Chamber of Commerce President Wes Stuckey says the city's survey of price comparisons goes beyond groceries. It seeks the price of exactly the same items, ranging from food and health care to utilities and housing. We scored well on the cost of housing. Uh, our medical costs were competitive. Uh, the can of Campbell's soup was a little lower price, I guess, uh, because each quarter you go out and shop on numerous items. Media organizations like CBS Money Watch use price comparisons to consistently find Ardmore and Pryor among the most affordable places to live in America. I think it's great for the state that there are two in Oklahoma and uh, two that aren't really close together. Justin Alberti with the Pryor Chamber of Commerce says the cities have very different major employers. Pryor is located in northeast Oklahoma. Its economy centers around manufacturing businesses based at the Mid-America Industrial Park. Ardmore is deep in the south central part of Oklahoma, halfway between Oklahoma City and Dallas. Its primary employers are the Michelin Tire Plant and the oil and gas industry. You know, if, if, if Ardmore and Pryor were back to back in the same county, you could say, well, maybe it's just something about that area. But Ardmore, you know, is a pretty good drive from Pryor. So you've got across the state in, in Oklahoma. And I think that speaks well of the entire state that, you know, these two areas so far apart in the state are both on that list. Utility rates can have a big impact on a community's cost of living. Pryor takes pride in providing its residents with low-cost electricity and other utilities, according to Mayor Jimmy Trammell. Our forefathers made sure that we had water. We've got gas lines. We own every bit of that ourselves. So we regulate the cost of the customers on the powers, what we do. So that way we can be cheap, have cheap utilities, which in turn has it brings in businesses and uh, you can have uh, cheaper housing. But they do totally look different. Martha Sisson is looking to buy a home in Pryor. She's looking at new homes like this brand new three bedroom, two bath model. She's also looked at existing homes on shady tree lined streets. Sisson has family nearby, but that's not her sole reason for buying in this community. The cost of living here, and, you know, and what you can get for your buck, it uh, really makes a big difference. Harriet Dunham grew up in western Oklahoma. She now makes her living selling real estate in Pryor, where the median price of a home is among the lowest in the nation. Median price range for homes is around 120. Uh, rentals probably in the 600 range, $600 a month. Median home prices are higher in Ardmore, according to real estate agent Jerry Landrum. Uh, 160 to 180 uh, for a pre uh, that one's now brand new and will go for a little bit more than that. He says average rental prices for apartments and houses are a bit cheaper. They range uh, 475 a month for one bedroom up to 685, I believe it, believe it is, for three bedroom. A low cost of living doesn't just earn a community bragging rights. Wes Stuckey says it can be a powerful tool as well. It helps attract new businesses to a city and new employees for existing companies when we're trying to locate some talent here for uh, a company that needs uh, an engineer, for example, uh, 
typically you're not comparing the cost of living between Ardmore and Podunk, USA. You're comparing that candidates living in Dallas or Chicago or some larger community. And by having the aqua cost of comparison, we can show what what their earnings levels are and what the, the uh, comparable cost of living is in each locale. That puts into black and white how much further the same salary goes in Pryor or Ardmore, whether it's to buy a cart full of groceries or to invest in a home.